this is a problem. Yeah. After three more miles of corridor, I finally arrive in this wide two-shot. This is really quite a view. Superficially pleasing, yes. There's a good horizon. I'm not going to lie to you, Richard. I'm pretty hungry. Yes. Well, we need guachinche. What's a huachinche? What do you mean, what's a huachinche? Huachinche is a kind of pop-up tavern, and they serve food. Rustic fare to wow. people like us pretending to be authentic. All righty. Look at this, the watch-up. No. They took the day off when they came up with that pun. That is too good. Thank you. Let's, let's click on the map. Look, there's a lot of huachinches locally. Let, let's, let's pick this one. With vowels agape, we wash through the Oratava Valley, the clefts of which are massively besprinkled with huachinches, before executing this precision park at Casalito. Everything about this screams really authentico. Which, like all huachinches, offers a cluster of competitively priced Canarian classics and homemade wine. Has anyone educated you on the local fair? I visited a Wikipedia page briefly. <laughs> I'm going to try and say some of these things in Spanish. And I'm going to support you. Hi. Ensalada. Salada. Salad. Carne de cabra. cabra. That's sí. the one. Okay. Thank you. Yep, that's goat. goat. That's goat. I know. Then I'm looking at huevos. Huevos al estampido. That's it. <laughs> this guy. Get out of my head. <laughs> yeah? Escaldón. That's Escaldón. Escaldón is a highly calorific paste made from toasted goffio flour and stock, eaten in Tenerife for centuries. Escaldón, which is an excellent name for a villain. I get really nervous sometimes with new foods. Right. Like, if it's not something I immediately recognize as a substance I've put in my body hundreds, if not thousands of times. It, it seems quite heavy. OK. I think it's going to provide comfort. Hmm. Mm. Very hard to pin that down as a flavour. You took the words right out of my mouth. Like meatloaf. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Go on. This is a little complex for me. We follow with my old enemy, stewed goat. This goat will not yield. And cheese grilled with palm honey. Mmm. The cheese is very good. It's pretty good. With a side of paprika laden egg and chips for the table. Just the three eggs there. What's stressful to me, Richard, and answer me this if you feel the same way, mm. is the concept of putting all of this in your body at once. Do you know what I mean? It feels like any one of these foods... You want a week between them. Well, yeah, it requires like a 24 to 48 hour digestion period. Oh, Greens. okay, great. Okay. Great, thank you very much. I like the drinking it out of a water glass makes it feel a little less like you're doing what you're doing, which is getting drunk in the afternoon. Yes. There's gonna be a slow afternoon with a headache appearing just before sundown. Yeah, straight in. Yeah. I'm from New York City. I know how to do this. I think all you need for that is a brown bag. Let's leave. 